Hello and welcome back to my annual end of the year video sort of thing where I go over my PC setup and then I cover a few things in either order really. So I'm just going to cover the little things first before you enter the meat and potatoes of this video which is the setup of course. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you for a great 2020. I know that's a weird phrase to say, a great 2020 when 2020 has probably been one of the worst years in recent memory with the pandemic and everything so yeah but i want to thank you that because my 2020 was personally pretty decent aside from all the pandemic stuff of course but this is the year my youtube channel smashed 1000 subscribers which is still insane to think that over a thousand people have subscribed to me and watch my videos now i think we're currently sitting at 1.2k subs which is insane and i can't thank you enough for that and yeah i'm just going to keep producing the videos i like and hopefully you enjoy watching them as well because that's what really matters you know i enjoy making videos and i'm glad that people like watching them i really love the editing process and the recording process so the fact that people actually enjoy the stuff i make you know it, it means a lot to me so thank you for that now the videos on my channel have kind of solidified the content i want to make i want to make tf2 videos and i want to make other gaming videos but not as much as the TF2 video. So TF2 will still be the main content on my channel, that's never going to change for the foreseeable future. While I supplement that with other games I enjoy playing, right now I'm really enjoying Red Dead Redemption Online, which I've got a few videos planned. I did a few streams of it over on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash otgg underscore tv if you want to come and hang out. It's really fun, I'm really enjoying the game, my character's Dead Eye Eli, he's the slowest gun in the west, if, if anyone cared. <laughs> Um, I've been playing a lot of TF2 of course, and yeah I just want to make uh, videos on games I enjoy and Pokemon is also involved in that of course, so yeah. Now there are whispers of a little thing I shall be involved in happening sometime in 2021, I don't want to go too much into it, but keep keep your eyes peeled because something is happening and I'm involved in that something, then just ignore that, but I'm, I'm fairly certain it will happen, so yeah look forward to that, there are other people involved as well. So yeah, just keep your keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, I just want to say thank you again. If you have enjoyed any of my content this year, then thank you very much. If you've left a like, if you've commented, if you subscribed, I can't thank you enough. Even a simple comment means a lot to me. I do try to read every comment I get. Even if I don't reply, I have read it, okay? This is to 2021. May it be even better. May the videos be better. May I be better. And may the year as a whole be better than the hell that was 2020. <laughs> I've been over the giant tree and this is uh, this is my wonderful setup. I hope you enjoy. My computer setup is arguably my most important thing that I own as it helps me not only do uni work and potential work for clients but also helps me make YouTube videos and play video games with my friends which are two things that I greatly enjoy doing. So my computer is very important and so I can justify spending quite a bit of money to get a great computer that will last me a good couple years. Well, probably longer than a couple years, but you know what I mean. I've spent quite a lot of money on this computer. It's probably my most expensive purchase to date and I purchased a car this year <laughs> and that cost less than my computer did. So um, yeah, but the car hasn't broken down yet. So that's a good thing. Anyway, um, onto my computer setup, which again, is probably the most important thing I own. So we're going to start with the peripherals. Um, in no particular order, I have the, the Corsair Scimitar Pro, the black version. Now, originally I got this mouse because I thought the buttons on the side would be good for Fortnite building. I know, what a great idea for a purchase. But I've actually found it be, to be more useful than just that. I use some of these keys to do things on my stream. I also use them to take screenshots quickly and to turn on NVIDIA highlights. So if I think I'm going to get a sick clip, I can really whack that on and then obviously get a clip without having to fumble around opening, opening NVIDIA Shadow Play and all that. So that's really good. Uh, and then the keyboard I've been using for a lot of years now, it's probably going to be on two or three years I think, is the Corsair Strafe. Now this keyboard is no longer being produced by Corsair and it's very sad that it isn't because uh, this year I spoke coffee on it like three times in the space of like a couple weeks. Um, I'm amazed it still works to be honest. Some of the keys are a bit stiff um, but the whole, the keyboard works fine, I don't get any phantom presses or anything, so it's still alive for now. Um, but Corsair, if you're seeing this, can you please send me a replacement with brown switches, please? 
I know they're not watching this, but hey, shoot my shot at in, in it. Um, then we've got my microphone, which is the New Year NW700, I believe. I, I don't know how you say it. Niwi? Niwi? I have no idea how you say the brand, but this is the mic I'm using. After my BT Sky uh, broke, it came with a nice boom arm, which is better than the one I was using, so thanks New Year for that. But it's a more powerful mic than my previous one, so it has to be, used, has to be powered by a uh, Phantom Power, which is where this little box comes in. I don't know the name of the box, it's just a new way 700 box. It was it was a bundle on Amazon, so I got it and it, it works fine. It's a bit quieter than I would like for a microphone, so I've had to boost it in um, settings. But yeah, it's a good microphone, I've had no problems with it. And yeah, I like it. It's much better quality than the one I was previously using anyway, I believe. My headset is the one I've been using for a year or so, I believe. It's the SteelSeries Arctis 5s in white. The, the best headset I've ever owned. It's so comfortable. I can wear this for hours without actually feeling like I'm wearing it, which is sick. Um, the one I had before this was really heavy on my head, but this has a little ski strap, which kind of makes it feel a lot lighter and a lot more comfortable. So big up Steel Series for that. And yeah, after that, that's really all I have for peripherals, really. So we're going to move on to some more accessories, some things that I use, but not as much. We have my Elgato HD60. I'm hoping to upgrade this to a HD60 Pro, which will sit inside my PC. But for now, I've got the external HD60, which I use to capture Switch gameplay mostly, with my Nintendo Switch, which has a custom Pikachu controller, which I bought in a shop for like 20 quid, I think. I can't remember the brand, but yeah, it's there. I'm also collecting Ninetales Pokemon cards, specifically hollow ones, but I'll take non-hollows as well. Uh, these are the three I have so far. We have a Ninetales Break, a Ninetales EX, and then another Ninetales EX. A, a much better one in my opinion. Um, this is the tripod I use because I use my phone as a camera because I don't have a camera yet. Um, I use the Galaxy S10e and it sits inside this lovely tripod I got from Amazon. Um, it has a lot of articulation. It can be used as a selfie stick as a remote camera as well so I don't have to press the shutter each time I record. And yeah, it's just a very sick tripod. It's small as well, so it sits on my desk instead of the one I used to use, which didn't really work properly. So yeah, this is the tripod I use if anyone cared. I also have a Cintiq 13 HD or HD 13. Um, I got this mainly for my uni work and it works like a treat. I got it secondhand through CEX, I believe. And yeah, I've had no problems with it. It was heavily discounted through CEX because these things are mad expensive. Um, so yeah, I was happy with this purchase. It's helped me through all of my uni work since I got it. And yeah, it's just a great little little uh, drawing tablet. So I'm happy with that. Also, I have LEDs now surrounding my desk. You don't really see them in videos, but they're, they're just nice to have. I like them. They change colour. They were cheap. It's all good. Um, on to the monitors now. So I have my two HP... Pavilion 22 CWs. I've had these for years now. They've been in many, many a, a setup video. But the biggest change to my setup is the Acer monitor that I have here. Now, I don't remember the name, so let me just have a look real quick. So the Acer Nitro VG270, I believe. Um, yeah, it's great. It's uh, 144 hertz. It's 165 hertz, sorry. Um, and yeah, it's a great monitor. The colours are absolutely beautiful on it. So looking at it side by side with these HP monitors shows me I need to get two more of these Acer monitors. But yeah, I'm, I'm rocking the triple monitor setup. The, the Acer is my main monitor. I use that for editing. I use that for gaming. I use it for media consumption. It's great. I usually use a left monitor for like Discord or something. And then my run monitor will be like anything else I need. <laughs> the webcam I use is the Logitech C90, I believe. There is a better one out that I do want to get, but for now I'm happy with the C90. It's a 1080p webcam. It doesn't film in 60fps, unfortunately. Um, so if I wanted to do 60fps webcam, I should probably get a better one. But for now, the C920 is pretty pretty decent for what I need. I also have these two um, external hard drives, both one terabyte. I'm only using one at the moment. But yeah, they're both there in case I need some extra expandable storage. But I shouldn't because I recently bought a new SSD. This is the Samsung Evo 970. It's an M.2 NVMe SSD, which means it a better read and write speeds and stuff. So 
perfect. It's my game drive. It's where I'm putting all the games I play the most, like TF2, Fortnite, Source Filmmakers on there because it runs better off of an SSD. Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5 are all on that SSD. Okay, so PC specs. Now these are something I'm pretty proud of because it's the first PC that I bought all the parts for. So these are the specs. I probably display them on my <laughs> Twitch profile, not Twitch, um, my Steam profile. So for CPU, the, the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X clocked to 4.0 gigahertz. For RAM, we have the Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 16 gigabyte. You're going to hear a lot of Corsair parts in my PC. They're, they're just a great brand. Uh, my graphics card is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 of the Nvidia 1080 licensed to gigabyte. Um, the motherboard is the Asus Prime X470 Pro motherboard. Um, my power supply is the EVGA Supernova G3 550 watt. So storage, I have a uh, crucial 500 gigabyte SSD which has my programs on and the operating system. I have the new Samsung 1 terabyte SSD which has my games on it. And then I have a 3 terabyte hard drive for just everything else. <laughs> Uh, the case I'm using is a Corsair Carbide Series 275R in white. So that's my PC. I'm very proud of it. As I've said many a time before, I do need to get new mouse mats. Um, but other than that, I'm very proud of it, very happy with it. And I can't see many more changes happening in 2021 unless I buy like a, another hard drive which, or some RAM, which might happen, who knows. So yeah, that has been 2020. I, uh, I hope you stick around for 2021. The content will not stop and hopefully the content will improve. So yeah, have a great day and I shall see you next year. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.